Hey guys, this is Steph Barker, and I'm back to show you some more rudiments on the drum set. Um, if you see something moving behind me on the stairs, it's my sister's dog, Izzy. She's here visiting, so it is not a weird shadow creature. Yep, she just moved. Um, so, the last time we did a lesson, it was about double stroke rolls, and today we're going to be going off of that same technique. So hopefully you guys have been practicing and getting comfortable with the idea of doubles. Um, so a six stroke roll is the next rudiment that we're going to be talking about and it has six strokes. So also last time I mentioned like a five stroke roll and how that was one, two, three, four, five, right, right, left, left, right. A lot of rolls are usually odd numbers because you land with one hand at the end of whatever diddles you're doing. So a six stroke roll is kind of like the exception to that because it's an even number. So to start out with a six stroke roll, you have a right hand hit and then left, left, right, right, left. So basically you're putting two diddles, a right and a left hand diddle, um, in between single strokes on either hand. So we're starting this with our right hand, so that means the first diddle is with your left. So right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left, right, right, left. And that's kind of the idea. So basically you want to be comfortable with doubles because when you speed this up, it sounds really, really cool. But like with all rudiments, you want to start out slow. So here's what it would sound like from slow to fast. And I'll say um, the sticking when I first start. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left, right, right, left. So as you can see, when you start to play it a little bit faster, it kind of it starts to get this flow to it, and it's it's a lot easier to be um, repeated. And how I like to play it is the two single notes that aren't diddled. I give them accents. So as you heard when I kind of was playing it faster, it's like da 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 da. You can hear those two accents stand out more. Um, so you can use that with. A pillow or um, just practicing on your practice pad you know really any rudiment if you play it on a pillow is gonna build up your strength so now we're gonna take this concept and make a cool drum fill out of it okay before we go to the drum set I think this is just necessary Easy. okay now we're gonna go to the drum set Alright, to answer your question ahead of time, yes, I have hearts on my underwear. I know that was a burning in all of your minds. Okay, so <clears throat> um, we're going to take the six stroke roll, put it to the kit. So basically, what you want to first start out with, I like to put the accents um, on the toms and then have the roll part on the snare drum. So just that alone. The right hand would be on the low tom, the left hand would be on the high tom, and the rolls are in the middle. So that sounds like this. Left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So that's a little trick and a little fill in itself just to do that faster, and I'll just speed it up for you to see so you can see how it sounds. favorite 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 tricks to do. Alright so this actual fill that I'm going to show you is a little bit different than that and it's kind of hard to explain but I think you'll understand it when you hear it slash see it in motion. So <clears throat> like the example that I just played it's low tom roll high tom and then you repeat it. So let's just say you do that. And that's where I want you to stop. So you do the six stroke roll and then stop with the right hand. Then you put in a bass drum and hit the high tom and low tom and start over. So it's going to sound like this. So basically at the end of that six stroke roll of the normal one, you're going to put a bass drum and then another high and low tom and then start over. So I'm gonna do it really slow. 
that you can do because this is another fill just by itself that I'm sure some of you are familiar with just the high low kick but throwing in that um, the doubles in between it's kind of a play off of that six stroke roll because you're coming back to the toms and toms are like I accent them more when I play them so it's 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 right off of the six stroke roll but you're just adding in the kick in between and a couple extra notes so one more time, I'm going to try to um, show you guys that. So it's going to be floor, diddle, diddle, high, floor, bass drum, high, floor, you start over. Gets confusing when I'm talking about it, but I'll show you slow one more time. into oh my gosh what is that tom part that she's talking about the tom part is just high low bass high low that's another way you can start it if you don't want to start it with the roll you can start high low bass high low diddle diddle high low bass high low diddle diddle fill to throw in you know in a song messing around in a solo and um using rudiments on the drum set because it is possible um you guys saw me without a hat today and my underwear in one video so that's pretty good all right um i hope you guys come back next time and keep working on everything thanks a lot